Look at these two protests. Both of them are from Nepal. One happened 16 years ago and one is happening right now. 16 years ago, these protests in Nepal forced the then king, Gyanendra Shah, to give up the throne and clear the way for a republic. Now, this new wave of protest is trying to bring him back. Believe it or not, the people of Nepal want to restore monarchy. Protests have rocked the capital city of Kathmandu with people shouting, Come back, king, save the country. Long live our beloved king, we want a monarchy. If we can't restore the institution of monarchy in this country, there is no future for the youths in this country and the existence of this country itself could be in, at risk. Nepal was a monarchy till 2008. Until then, Gyanendra Shah was the head of the state. Nepalis wanting freedom and democracy staged widespread protests against him and he was ousted to live the life of a commoner. But now, more than 16 years later, people want him back. The general public has grown frustrated with the republic. Nepal has seen 13 governments in the past 16 years. There is no surprise then that people do not think that the republic has brought about any political stability. There was a frustration uh, on the part of the people. That's why uh, people, some people started to think that, uh, well, it was far better in, under monarchy. The people of Nepal have long considered the king as a reincarnation of the god Vishnu. But political experts say that the movement is too small to prevail any time soon. Even the country's major political parties have rejected the possibility. Gyanendra himself hasn't commented on the movement. With the country witnessing political instability over the years, it remains to be seen how this movement shapes up. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.